Now, here's meteorologist Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 future cast. Beautiful weather here in southern New England the past couple days. Unfortunately, things go downhill as we go into tomorrow evening. But let's first enjoy tonight, shall we? A very clear, nice shot of live Pinpoint Doppler 12. We're scanning the skies, but we're not finding anything. But that will change by tomorrow night. The reason being, we're watching a storm system. That storm will actually last from tomorrow night into Monday morning, possibly into early Monday afternoon. We'll see snow accumulations for some, just rain and sleet for others. More on that coming up in just a few minutes. Down City Providence, it's actually a pretty mild night. Temperature is 37 degrees. The winds are rather calm out of the northwest at 5 miles an hour. Frank Logler in Newport, he's one of our favorite weather spotters. He says he's seeing clear skies with a temperature of 35 degrees. We're down to 34 degrees in Smithfield, 26 cool degrees here in Taunton, Massachusetts, 30 in Westerly, and 37 degrees in Newport. New Bedford also coming in at 37 degrees. Satellite picture shows a few high clouds streaming in from the south. All in all, though, things very quiet here in the northeast. The same could not be said down here off the coast of Florida, South Carolina, Georgia. You can see lots of moisture streaming in from the south. This will form an area of low pressure and head right in our direction as we go into tomorrow night. In fact, it's, it's going to park itself just offshore from the Cape, setting up a pretty good scenario to get some rain along the south shore and some snow throughout the interior. We'll talk about expected accumulations in just a second. First, though, a look at tomorrow afternoon. By noontime, we're in pretty good shape. 38 degrees, still dry. 2 o'clock in the afternoon, 39 degrees with mostly cloudy skies. And then a chance of some light rain showers moves in by 4 o'clock. Now, everybody will see these at this point, but I think areas in the southwest part of the state will start to see some raindrops by that point. 38, you're high in Charlestown for Sunday. 39, westerly. 39, you're high in Coventry with the chance of some late afternoon rain showers. Now, in northwest Rhode Island, some of this rain could be mixed with some wet snow and sleets with temperatures in the upper 30s, but again, most of the day is dry. And as we take a look at eastern Massachusetts, temperatures in the mid-30s, low 40s, with a chance of some late showers, winds out of the east at 5 to 10. And then those winds really get cranking tomorrow night into Monday morning. We'll see a mix of both rain and snow. Now, it will be more of a rainier scenario north of Providence, or south of Providence, I should say. North of Providence, we'll see more of a snowy scenario. And in the capital city itself, we'll be kind of wobbling back and forth between the rain and snow, making it a real headache to forecast. For Monday morning, the uh, wintry mix will continue and then come to an end by the afternoon. Uh, temperature on Monday, 36 degrees. And by Monday evening, the storm is out of here. Grand total accumulations look like this. Keep in mind, this is subject to change. One to three inches for Providence up and down the I-95 corridor into the Attleboro's. Three to six inches for northwestern Rhode Island. And it looks like mostly a shutout with the snow along the south shore. However, those areas that do not get a lot of snow may have some problems with localized flooding. Could see about an inch or an inch and a half of rain. So all of our roads may see some issues by Monday morning with some sleet and ice. Southern Rhode Island and southern Massachusetts may see some localized flooding due to the rain. And in northern Rhode Island, we may see some wet snow collecting on those branches, which could lead to power outages with the gusty winds. Tuesday is better, 38 degrees, partly cloudy. Another rain-snow event possible for Wednesday and Thursday, but no time to talk about that one. Okay, thank you. And coming up on Eyewitness News at 11.